Well, tomorrow morning, students in 17 districts across the region will be seeing their teachers in person. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers has the story of how families are preparing for a back to school like no other. Tomorrow morning, students will walk through these doors wearing masks, of course, for the first time in nearly six months for in person learning. It's a day both parents and students tell us they're eagerly anticipating. Labor Day marks the unofficial end of summer, both on the calendar and for many North Texas students. It's a summer that seems to have lasted for six months. It's not usual. This, this definitely feels like the last day of summer, and normally that's in the middle of August, so it does feel a little strange. Well, we went for a swim, and now we're taking a nice walk to the park so she can get accustomed to the new playground. Megan McCord's daughter Maggie started kindergarten virtually on August 20th, but tomorrow, she says, feels like the real first day. Oh, there will be plenty of tears. <laughs> and they're all dressed up in their, their Sunday best and they're ready to meet their teachers and actually sit in their classrooms and see the Boone Bulldog mascot running around. I think it's, it brings a lot of joy and happiness and excitement. Garland, Grapevine, Colleyville, Highland Park, Louisville, and Richardson are among the districts returning at least partially in person tomorrow. All Louisville ISD students will watch an instructional video about what to expect. Face coverings will be required for all part of back to school preps in the age of COVID. She'll have her mask on. Uh, we're packing a snack for her, so we had to speak about what's going to look different and how it's going to feel different, but it's to keep all of us safe and to keep us in school. And that, some parents say, is a necessity. The biggest thing is about going back to school is making friends. And as long as they're doing it in a safe way, we're, they need that. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. Well, districts with in person learning are still offering virtual instruction as an option. In Garland ISD, about 63% of families chose virtual. In Highland Park ISD, about 18% are staying online.